All right, welcome back to Ultra Convig Tutorials. As you probably know, automating SSH sessions with network devices is a really painful job if the appropriate tools are not chosen. That's why today I want to talk about NetMiko, a powerful Python library that every network engineer should at least be familiar with. We'll start the video off with a high level look at the library and then jump right in by writing a program to automate config changes on a Juniper router. So what exactly is NetMiko? To answer that, we'll start by talking about the SSH protocol. If you want to access the CLI of a network device, you typically log into the device using the SSH protocol. And as most of you would know, SSH is the protocol that allows the end user to remotely access the device through an encrypted channel. This works great for human operators performing manual tasks, but how can we automate an SSH interaction with a network device? It would be very challenging and time consuming to try to write the software to implement the SSH protocol in a TCP sockets like program. Thankfully, however, Many libraries exist which abstract away the low-level complexities of such a feat. This allows end users to focus on the high-level interactions with their end devices. One such library for the Python language is Paramico. An end user may incorporate this library into their program for automating an SSH interaction. You'll find that in practice, however, even Paramico is difficult to use with network devices. This is a consequence of the unique quirks that each vendor has built into their software. Take authentication for example. On some network devices, credentials are provided after the SSH session is established rather than utilizing the inherent authentication capability of the SSH protocol. This is where NetMiko comes to the rescue. NetMiko is built on top of Paramiko. It simplifies SSH automation to network devices by abstracting away the implementation quirks unique to each vendor. As always, examples are the best way of learning, so let's jump into some code. Today, we'll automate the configuration of a virtual SRX Juniper router running on GNS3. To begin, let's use pip to install NetMiko. We'll now create a new file for our Python program and import the required dependency. Next, let's create an object holding the connection details of our router. We can then proceed to establish an SSH connection using NetMiko. NetMiko supports a large range of values for the device type parameter. Check them out in the official documentation. Once a connection is established to our router, running operational commands is very trivial. Let's check the state of an interface. Executing the program now yields an output equal to the output we would see if we ran the command directly on the CLI. The library provides the user with unmodified CLI output. To demonstrate this again, let's modify our operational command by misspelling show as so. Rerunning the program will now yield an error. You'll get the exact same result if you log on to the router and try the command manually. Let's now configure an interface on the router using our NetMiko program. We can do this with a two-step process. First, we edit the candidate configuration of the router with our new lines of config. We can do this using the send config set method. With that done, we may commit the change to the running config. Let's execute our program to make sure it works. All looks well. We can also hop onto the CLI of the router to verify our change. And there we go. Everything looks as desired. 
So that's everything essential we need to know about NetMiko. I hope you found the tutorial helpful. Before I end today's video, I'll also shout out UltraConfig. NetMiko is great at pushing configuration to network devices, but how do you actually automate the generation of network config? UltraConfig is a powerful piece of software for automating the generation of network config. If you work in the network engineering industry, I highly recommend you to check it out. The software includes an API to fully enable end-to-end -end network automation. A link to the software will be in the description. I'll also put a link in the description to a written form of today's tutorial for you to try it yourself. That'll be it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.